Hi, welcome back to Escape Forever Free. Here we are about to invest in our one hour alone time with God. For those joining for the first time, welcome. I'm your girl Faith. I'm here providing support as we invest in restoring our physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If you're joining for the first time, please stay with us. You're in a good place. Let us pray before we start. Father, we thank you for another occasion where we can come before you to seek after your face and your light. Father, all that we seek after, please show it to us. And all who come genuinely, Father, please do not cast them out. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So our devotional guide, it will be taken from Maranatha. And before we get into our devotional guide, we usually memorize a memory text for the week. This week's memory test text is St. Matthew 28 and verse 20. And it says, let us recite it. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. St. Matthew 28 verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. St. Matthew 28 verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. St. Matthew 28 verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. May God help us to commit this text to memory, to edify souls, including our, our own, and to glorify God when he shall choose for us too. We thank you for joining us again, and let's go now into the devotional. The devotional is entitled this morning, Sure Foundation. Sure Foundation. And the key text supporting this morning's devotion is... 2 Timothy 2 verse 19, it reads, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Amen. Sure foundation. The Lord will have a people as true as steel, and with faith as firm as granite rock. They are to be his witness in the world. His instrumentality is to do a special, a glorious work in the day of his preparation. Ministers who have preached the truth with, with all zeal and earnestness may apostatize and join the ranks of our enemies. But does this turn the truth of God into a lie? No. Nevertheless, says the apostle, the foundation of God standeth sure, quote unquote. The faith and feel sorry, the faith and feelings of men may change, but the truth of God never. It is as certain that we have the truth as that God lives, and Satan with all his arts and hellish power, cannot change the truth of God into a lie. While the great adversary will try his utmost to make some, to make of none effect the word of God, truth must go forth as a lamp that burneth. The Lord has signed us out, the Lord has signed us out and made us subjects of his marvelous mercy. Shall we be charmed with the part, the pratings of the apostate? Shall we choose to take our stand in Satan and his hosts? Shall we join with the transgressors of the law or God's law? Rather, let it be our prayer, quote unquote, Lord, put enmity between me and the serpent. If we are at enmity enmity with his works of darkness his powerless foes 
If we are at enmity with his works of darkness, his powerless force encircles us, and his sting is ready at any moment to be driven to our hearts. We should count him a deadly foe. We should oppose him in the name of Christ. Our work is still onward. Let all who name the name of Christ clothe themselves with the armor of righteousness. The time has come when we must know for ourselves why we believe as we do. Let us lay up for ourselves a good foundation against the time to come that we may lay hold on eternal life. We must labor not in our own strength, but in the strength of our risen Lord. What will we do and dare for Jesus? Amen. Sure foundation. This devotional challenges us to think about our journey with God and what it is that is our motivation in it. Why have we come and why are we interested? Why do we seek? Why is it that we are claiming and professing to be Christians? What is our motivation? What has brought us to this place? What are we standing on? If our foundation is not sure, then as the troublous times come and heighten and get and gets into its climax, we will be shaken out. We will not make it. We must have a sure foundation that rests upon the love of Jesus Christ. Only through the love of God can we truly come to him and become grounded. This morning, in this devotion, I want to encourage you to seek and search after the sure foundation, which in my interpretation, according to the scripture, is the love of God. I pray, truly, honestly, earnestly pray that you will find it. Let us go to our meditational hymn to take us out of this segment of your one hour alone time with God. Of course, you will continue without me. I will sing number 248. Oh, how I love Jesus. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its word. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Oh, oh. How I love Jesus, no, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. It tells me of a Savior's love, who died to set me free. It tells me of a Savior's blood, the sinner's perfect plea. In, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. It tells of who, the, it tells of one whose loving heart can feel my deepest woe. It tells when its sorrow bears a part. That none can bear below. Oh, 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 how I love Jesus. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Do you love Jesus? This is your sure foundation that Jesus loves you 
and gave his life to die for you and that you catching a glimpse even a glimpse of that love comes to love him too let us pray almighty god almighty thank you for being our god our friend god who sent your only begotten son jesus christ our lord to sacrifice for us so we can again receive eternal life hallowed be your name i pray that all in the hearing of this prayer who truly will seek and search after the love of jesus christ the love of god to lay it down as their sure foundation on which they will build the rock of their faith not on their church not on their denominations not on their pastors not on their family and their family traditions for which they continue because it has been forever in their family no not on any such thing but all who in the hearing of this prayer will seek to search and find this love of god the love of jesus christ our lord on which to build their faith jesus christ please grant it unto them as of this moment and may it be sealed and even give them their sealing for eternity because of it in jesus name i pray amen and amen i pray that you will truly hold firm to the love of jesus christ through it you will find eternal life i hope that we will meet in heaven Thanks for joining us. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Walk good, but above all, walk with God.